Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here at the 21st Annual Art Directors Guild Awards. How are you? Good, how are you? Congratulations on Fences. Uh, what was it like collaborating with Denzel on, on creating this entire look of Baltimore? He was, uh, actually it was Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, I meant that. Yeah. He was actually great. I think he gave us a lot of freedom. Um, it's actually, it, what's interesting is initially I think he wanted um, the, the whole look of the film to be a little more down. But as we did our research, we found out that it's actually uh, more up, that people were more, um, uh, you know, a little more stable, I guess you could say. So it's interesting. He was fantastic. So. What were some of the challenges you found working on the film? Well, trying to recreate Pittsburgh in 1957 was definitely an issue. Like, every neighborhood's been altered. The Hill District in particular was completely dismantled like in the 70s so we had to do a lot of work to bring it back to that that era and I imagine a lot of research oh, yeah. trying to a replicate that yes actually when we were very lucky we had the photos of uh, Teeny Harris who was a famous African-American um, uh, photographer in the 1950s who documented the Hill District so that was a great resource for that's us. wonderful and, and finally is there a moment on the film where you just feel like you really captured what you set out to do yeah, I mean, I think definitely the backyard and just seeing, you know, Denzel and Viola in that environment was just spectacular. I mean, their performances were, were stunning, I thought. Yeah, it's a spectacular film. I call it a master class yeah. in acting, by yes, the way. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Completely well, con great. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on your work. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what movie had the coolest looking set this year.